ongoing registration, the Electoral Commission says it has been able to put over 183,000 persons onto the country's electoral roll. The process, which started on Tuesday last week, was fraught with challenges. Challenges which the opposition NDC largely asserted to as orchestrated, aimed at disenfranchising first-time voters, particularly in its stronghold. Accusations which have been parried by the Electoral Commission. Chairperson of the Commission, Jean Mensa, says any such claims cannot be true. The allegations being made against us, including accusations of our working to disenfranchise eligible voters, to sending 40 kids to the stronghold of a specific political party are false. A number of districts reported having 40 kids on the first two days. These kids were not located only in the stronghold of a political party, of a particular political party, and the evidence is there for all to verify. On arguments by the former president, John Mahama, that perhaps the guarantor system is still quite the best way in registering persons onto the electoral roll. The Electoral Commission cited instances or media reports of minors being registered onto the electoral roll and used that as basis to suggest that if you can go to a district office with two guarantors just to get onto the electoral roll, you can go to the district office to get a Ghana card. As a commission, we don't think so. We are, we are mindful of the fact that the National Identification Authority had some budgetary constraints and they were not able to, you know, register. They have not been able to register for a while. But we are also mindful and we are also well aware that over the last two weeks, they've kick-started their activities in the districts and they are registering persons who have turned, I think, 15 years above in the districts. So we do not, I do not be, and so the cards are available. On the injunction application, the EC said it was not served. As we speak, you know, the commission was not, did not become privy to that documentation or that service, that writ until Wednesday, because on Monday the commission was on the field and on Tuesday we were on the field and it was only Wednesday after the exercise that we became privy to that service. We've known for a long time that we had registration. Why wait till a day before the exercise to serve on a Friday when there's a lot of field activity going on? She adds the commission will undertake a continuous registration process to register more persons next year. In the lead up to the 2024 presidential and parliamentary elections, we will roll out a continuous registration of voters for several months in the district offices. Additionally, we will undertake a mop-up exercise in selected electoral areas, and particularly in areas that have difficulty in accessing our district offices. The Commission is, however, warning guarantors against endorsing minors. Eric Mawina Egbeta, TV3 News, Headquarters of the Electoral Commission.